New in 2022.1.3 is the ability to light link within your scene. Light linking is the ability to constrain illumination and shadowing to specific objects. To use this feature, create a light and illuminate a portion of your scene where you want to constrain your lighting. In this example, I'll add a rim light to our foreground character. I'll position and scale the light so that it creates some additional separation over the background, but I'll limit the lighting to only affect our character. By default, all objects are included in the illumination and shadowing of a light. If we select the light and look in the property window under light linking, you'll see that include root is checked and the expansion rules is set to expand prims. When these options are set, all objects under slash world are included in the illumination. Toggling off root or setting the expansion to explicit only removes the whole scene from the illumination list and no objects receive any illumination from this light. To isolate the illumination to our robot, I'll add the wheel robot to the includes list. Doing this constrains our rim light to only illuminate the wheel robot hierarchy. Similarly, if there's a specific location that I wish to exclude, I can add that object to the excludes list. Shadow linking works the same way, but includes or excludes objects in the shadow evaluation of the light. By default, all objects under slash world are included in shadows, and you can specify specific objects to include or exclude. It's important to note that light linking works for primary lighting only. An indirect global illumination will still affect your geometry. The other limitation to light linking is that it currently only works in RTX path trace mode. We hope you enjoyed this feature and look forward to hearing from you in the future.